Hey guys, what's up? This is Random. I'm going to be casting this game um, of Goblins against uh, Mordor. And I've chosen this replay from Game Replays because I know both of the players. So just a little introduction. Uh, Yoda is uh, also known as Bio. He's a really good player. He's been around on the scene for a long time. And uh, he's basically been playing like every patch, like uh, from 1.0 to 1.6 and all the, all the battle dust patches and now 1.8. And by the way, this replay is from 1.8. Uh, and Tradagas, uh, he's like, I've uh, known this guy for a really long time. Uh, he's been around since like forever. But I know that he doesn't really play uh, too much nowadays. Uh, so I suppose he, he might be slightly rus rusty in this replay. He probably won't be in the best shape, but uh, still, still, still to, uh, chosen this replay. For uh, I know both of them uh, have the good base of like being uh, pretty decent all over the time. Been playing like two v twos with both of them, and they're really consistent players. <clears throat> In any case, we we see the opening uh, from Relicast with uh, one archers. That's a very safe opening, but doesn't apply very well on onto what he's actually facing, which is uh, four tunnels and double cave, so he might have uh, waited with these archers and uh, rather built uh, the slaughterhouse earlier. Uh, but still, it's not a disaster, it's uh, just a little tactical win for, for Yoda. And uh, I mean, Yoda is uh, powering up his uh, his Goblin Warriors got them in the tunnel and uh, unloaded them here. He'll probably uh, be able to take down this uh, slaughterhouse, I suppose. Uh, otherwise, uh, Radagast is basically uh, pushing through the middle whilst uh, sending this uh, flank in it. Uh, that's uh, what I like to do too. Like, uh, I'll send my main force uh, via the, the main path and uh, one, one unit on the other path, uh, so that one distracts the other one does, uh, does damage. And in the end, like these archers, even though he made them so so soon, they were uh, out of position over here, whilst what they had to defend was here, so they didn't do the job they should have done. Uh, he's also getting uh, his Haradrim Palace, although he's uh, only on uh, three slaughterhouses, making up his fourth, whilst uh, Yoda is on uh, uh, still five, I think. Yes, still five, and he's getting up his uh, cave trolls. I, I think he's this is for cave trolls, mainly for, for the defense against uh, the orcs. That's not a bad idea at all. Even though I prefer, uh, I prefer uh, what are they called, spider riders, because they have also better offensive potential, not just uh, defensive. So, actually Yoda did not lose uh, any, any of his tunnels in his base, that's uh, really good. And he's actually upgrading this fissure to level 2 so that he can make uh, those troll marauders. He's very probably afraid of uh, Nazgul's running, running after him. Although that's not really going to be the case as he went for the early pikes. So the Nazgul is going to be slightly delayed. Although these pikes will just uh, creep the money from, from the war players and uh, basically uh, make up the money for for the Nazgul. It's not bad at all. Theo is uh, setting up really nice defense. He doesn't let uh, Radagast to, to get through to his tunnels thanks to these archers, even though like one unit would do all the job. He didn't have to have two units over there. And now he's uh, he could, he could basically kill off this mortar force much faster and not lose uh, not many power points as he as he's losing right now. But uh, these spikes will do too. They're higher tier unit and they don't really care that these orcs are uh, like swordsmen, but they're just too weak against against the halters. 
Also, when you fight an orcs, uh, you might want to consider uh, getting into defensive stance. Same for these orcs, actually, because uh, they're not really. Uh, none of the units are fighting against like uh, beefy, uh, high HP units. They uh, fight mostly against uh, units with uh, high damage output. So you want to use the defensive state stance. And these units are catch are being caught like off guard by big time, off out of position, surrounded, they gonna fall and give out a lot of power points. <coughs> that was kind of unfortunate for Radagast. On the other hand, he's uh, ahead in creeps still. He also managed to pick up this one, so money wise, uh, they're still somewhat, uh, somewhat somehow um, balanced. Uh, uh, Radagast has uh, 600 uh, CP, while Steod has 700. That's kind of a mirror of their harassment, because uh, both of their uh, macros been going pretty well, I would say. But Yoda managed to take down uh, slightly more, uh, slightly more slaughterhouses. I'm not even sure if uh, Radagast has taken out any slaughterhouses, uh, any tunnels. I really have not seen any fall, like there are some wounded ones, but uh, not the rubbles, and I haven't seen any, any fall, actually. Uh, this might be the first uh, actual unit fight that Radagas will win. And you can see that uh, Goblin already has the scavenger, which is the powerpoint number 10, or the tier 2 powerpoint. And uh, Radagas is only getting towards his um, second tier power, which should be the the industry uh, increasing uh, one of his uh, slaughterhouses uh, effective efficiency. So he chosen this one. So he brings this one brings actually 44 uh, resources per per airbound compared to these. They bring like 20, 12. I mean. It's an awesome power, even though I prefer to go for an eye and, uh, and a barricade, because that can give you like the space control, which Mordor actually uh, lacks a lot. Like Mordor's units are uh, generally uh, more offensive uh, than defensive, and this barricade can make up for that. And Yoda is doing a really nice job. He should expand in here, like ASAP. Uh, this he should claim that, and uh, he already did it over here. And though he could play some lumber mills, maybe play some more tunnels so that he can defend against such run bys. Even though this is a really poorly chosen com composition of uh, harassment units, like there are mostly archers, he should actually take uh, like three of these archer units and uh, try to defend <coughs> against this uh, this force. Because this force, if I crowed well and split up, uh, can do some devastating damage. Yeah, this is actually going to flank it, uh, so that's, that's definitely good. He also tried to uh, get the creep of the, of the troll, that's really nice, I like that, I like that decision. <clears throat> Meanwhile, you, you see, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he unloaded these units from the tunnels and he can de he can defend this area and claim it for himself. Yoda is doing some nice micro job with these guys uh, hovering over over his archers, kind of an Elven style. And uh, as a mortar, you never want to die dive in, in, uh, in such an area. Because all that's going to happen is that these, these uh, bikes are going to tank all the damage and uh, these goblin archers are going to uh, are going to deal the damage, right? So you, even though that you you might uh, end up killing that that clump of units, uh, you will lose power points, you will lose resources, you will not be cost efficient. You rather want to wait till you have slightly more units and uh, flank it from like all the sides possible. So that the uh, marauders don't have such a chance to tank the tank the damage, because they are not the problem. It's the goblin archers that are going to be uh, killing your army. In any case, I like Redigus macro. 
he's uh, definitely continuously producing slaughterhouses and shit. Expanding here, it's very nice. He's like he's made some mistakes and uh, he's trying to make up for them. Definitely, he's, I'm pretty sure he's doing his best, but uh, like his control might be a little bit, uh, a little bit trusty as he's, he's not playing the game uh, very often right now. But uh, still, that's that's just the proof of uh, like how good this guy actually is. Like, if if you do. If you do like this after uh, such a long time of not playing, it just proves that uh, you really could not be uh, a bad player at, at like your time. Uh, thing is that uh, like these idle units, you don't want this. You don't really want this. Sometimes it's, this might happen that you don't know where to go with archers when you're not being attacked. Uh, you want to connect. You want to join them up with uh, some. Uh, Units that can deal damage to structures or, or tank units from uh, the opponent. Now he should fall back behind uh, these two units and basically uh, smash this army without losing much. Like this, he's going to lose slightly more than he has to. Quite possibly all of that. But yeah, he's joining it up finally. And here he might. He's getting you know, some harassment done, he might even get this tunnel even though Yoda uh, did try to protect it uh, deleting your slaughterhouses is really nice way of denying uh, power points from your opponent and also getting uh, half of your money back for the slaughterhouse <clears throat> definitely better than uh, losing the slaughterhouse Also, Rigos chosen the eye, which uh, I find really good because uh, none of the players can use the end land. Because as soon as as you use it as a first person, then the other one is going to cover it, and only ha and it's only the second person that uh, has the bonus of 50 percent, uh, 50 percent armor. <coughs> he also almost has the 15 uh, power points for the tier three uh, power thing is that uh, this Drogot is going to be a serious problem. Uh, he will either need um, Haradrim uh, Lancers or Archers uh, so that they can actually deal some serious damage to Drogot because these guys are not, are not gonna do that or uh, he will also need his uh, Witch King and some Fell Beast to deal with it like Drogot is uh, not a joke and you also want to have your Drogot in either defensive or offensive st stance. Uh, like the aggressive, in aggressive stance he at least moves faster. In defensive he doesn't take that much damage but moves slower. But like the battle stance is, is kind of like I don't know what to do. I rather will not do nothing. Just choose one. It's, it has its uh, ups and downs but uh, yeah, always choose the defensive or offensive. Right, so he goes for offensive, uh, why not? And nice trick you can do is, uh, when he's flying around, go offensive. 